up, you beautiful collectors and Jurassic fans? Once again, it's the one and only Optic Bottom is coming with another video review. And on today's episode, thanks to all of the absolutely incredible contributions from my Optibotomous Plus channel members, specifically Brad Mull, who's been a channel member of mine for two solid years, we're going to be taking a look at the new Jurassic World Legacy Collection, Dr. Sarah Harding and Stegosaurus Pack. And once again, Mattel has done a fantastic job with this Legacy Collection packaging. And Hopefully, this isn't the only version of that mobile command center that we get. High on my list of wants would be that mobile command RV that we saw in the Lost World. And this is a great nod to that vehicle. The packaging is done up to look like the front section of it. With a door right here, you got windows and things like that. You can even see tires come around to the front. And it's the front of the RV. I mean, absolutely amazing. All the way down to a window with some windshield wipers. Even when you look at the top, you got those different bars and things. I mean, absolutely uh, amazing. Oh my God. I Even when you come to the bottom, you got the bottom of the tires. That's insanely awesome. I, I love that. Uh, the back section here has another door. When you come around to the other side, uh, well, that kind of continues on, but you have this kind of product shot right here showing Sarah Harding, the young Stegosaurus, and I'm I'm guessing the dad Stegosaurus, or maybe the mom. I'm not even entirely sure. This was a fun scene. As they're going around trying to find Sarah, one of the best lines from Vince Vaughn was they're, they're going around screaming, Sarah, Sarah. And Vince's character, he's like, Sarah Harding. And then Ian Malcolm looks at him and was like, how many Sarahs do do you think there are on this island? I, I I loved that line. But for the packaging on this, absolutely spectacular. Again, Mattel nails it with this Legacy Collection packaging. But for it, that's about it. So without further ado, let's get these out here and see how cool they actually are. And here we have the Dr. Sarah Harding and Stegosaurus pack opened up and out of its packaging. And once again, Mattel has done another terrific job giving us this set and adding to an already impressive full catalog of Jurassic Park and Jurassic World figures. Starting off first with the parent, um, or uh, I don't even know if it's the parent because there was a lot of uh, different Stegosauruses in that scene. This is any number of ones. I mean, it could be the one that tried to come over and like swing the tail and knock her down or it could be the one that came over and tried to stab her through the log um either way because it is that figure that has the uh, the slashing tail thing i'm gonna go ahead and say it's that one um now one thing that is worth noting is scientists now kind of believe that uh, the tail didn't droop down nearly as much like that they felt like it kind of actually set up a little higher like the juvenile one over here uh, but it's still a really nice representation of uh, that stegosaurus look and you got the little plate right here that you can push down and get that tail swinging now it is a repaint we've gotten this figure before uh, I had another one in my collection for the longest time that I'm can't hey, there it is uh, I couldn't find it for a second uh, that I had and uh, I'll probably replace it now I wish that they would have done a little bit different because it is the exact same sculpt uh, for the most part. You still have the swinging tail and everything. You don't have the section here that lifts as you do here. Uh, where, where is it at? Uh, no, there it is. Uh, so this little plate right here comes up revealing the QR code that you can scan and add to your dinosaur thing. Uh, this one doesn't have that. That's, that's all uh, just stuck in there, obviously. But I do wish that they would have sculpted it a little bit, especially like in the head. You could have put a new head on there, I feel, because uh, this one's okay. Uh, I mean, it, they're, they're basically the same, but I mean, you can see sculpt-wise, they're uh, pretty much identical. I don't see anything really different with it. Uh, I do kind of like the colors on this one a little bit more, although the darkness of this kind of fits with what we saw in the film. A hair better I, I feel you couldn't really tell the coloring of it uh, at least I couldn't but you know what I love having the stegosaurus it is my favorite dinosaur I don't know why I just always thought that looked kind of cool so it's nice to have a couple of them uh, that way I can have you know now like the herd and like a little baby one there so that's really very fun uh, but as I said the figure is identical so you do have the slashing gimmick paint on here does look really nice though I do really like that 
And again, with different paint, you get, you know, a different, like, I don't know, personality, I guess. So it works for me. As you, you can see, you do have that. You have that thing there. So it's not identical, but it's pretty darn close. Uh, Articulation-wise, uh, the back legs can move in and out. They also can swivel forward and back. You're not going to get a lot of range of motion. I mean, the, the range of motion is there, but you're not going to get a lot of posing options because the knees are kind of bent like that. So you can't really do a ton um, with with the dinosaur. So I don't know. And then there's a kind of ratchet joint right there that kind of fits things. So it kind of is meant to stay in that kind of pose, but it's nice that they have that articulation. Uh, these front legs also go in and out very nicely. They move forward and back as well. You can get a little bit more play with that um, in terms of doing some things. Um, I mean, if, if you really wanted to. Uh, the head does rotate. I, I do wish that the head was done a little bit differently because you just get this twistiness. I do wish it was more on a ball joint so it could keep this forward look, but swing around. That would be nice as opposed to going like that because that looks weird. But then you also have the hinge right there gorgeous paint on the plates as i talked about really nice detail and everything down here with the spikes overall a great looking figure uh, and i'm happy to have another one uh, to kind of go along with it and now we do get the little juvenile or younger version of the stegosaurus and this is gorgeous uh, i really love what they did with this uh, the sculpt on here is fantastic i mean i really love the detail around the eyes you got a little bit of paint and everything there on the beak itself i, I do kind of wish that the spikes here because that's just green um i guess maybe because they're small because you even kind of can see a little bit of green in the the bigger plates uh so maybe it you know it just kind of starts out like that and then gets bigger and then gets a darker color but you also have that here at the very back I wish they'd put a little bit of brown on there just to kind of add to it, but I have a Sharpie. I could probably do that. But the rest of the sculpt is really nice as well. Paint on here is very simple. It does match very nicely with the one here in terms of the green and the brown. That's really cool. Uh, but I love that face. I mean, that is... I mean, that looks just like the Stan Winston puppet that we saw in the film. That is incredible. Articulation for this one, it is the same in, in terms of the neck. Uh, it just spins and then goes up and down. But, uh, again, I do kind of wish that it was done as a ball joint. It would give a better range of motion. You do have a swivel here for the tail. Uh, I don't really know why. I feel like that's kind of strange to do. But, you know, it is what it is. And then the legs move forward and back. Now, this one you can do a little bit more with because uh, it's a little bit more neutral. So, you can have, you know, you can't really get it rearing its back up or anything oh look it looks like god's there oh god oh that's kind of funny um so uh like the articulation is there but again you can kind of just leave it right there and just kind of looking cute now sarah uh, another character from the lost world movie uh, absolutely fantastic super thrilled to get her uh same size as i don't have ian malcolm um i just have ellie when do i i thought i had an ian malcolm right i guess i don't but um i'm, I'm hitting things so you can uh, get Ellie standing there, maybe. maybe. Come on, there you go, there we go. Eleanor, there you go. And then let's see, get Sarah standing there. So size-wise works pretty darn good. Uh, let's bring in our buddy Tim. Uh, he's a younger kid, so if they ever release the, oh, I forgot her name. Uh, what's her name? The the daughter of why, why is that not rotating i guess maybe it didn't um the daughter of ian malcolm um so if they ever released her uh you could have you know something like that so you can see that uh, same scale same size all that stuff is really there no, what am i doing uh, bring her up uh, she does have one accessory that being her camera kind of wish she came with a backpack because she's like it's my lucky backpack uh, it's just molded in this uh, black plastic nothing really overly spectacular uh, but uh, same basic uh, articulation as the just standard figures where you have the swivel, the hinge moving forward and back, in and out, the rotation at the elbow and the hinge. Do you have a waist swivel, knees moving all over the place, or hips, knees, all that fun stuff. Uh, not one of the Hammond Collection figures, so you don't really need all that extra articulation, which is fine because she's, I mean, she's a main character from the movie, just doesn't really need to have all that extra articulation do kind of wish it was a ball joint though just to kind of get her being able to kind of move her head around a little bit more but 
overall great detail you have her uh, little shirt on the inside she's wearing her jacket overall real good sculpt real good likeness uh so in general I'm very happy with it uh ideally uh, i would have loved it if i just had to get uh, these two uh, but including this is is a nice addition I, I do think that the set in general is very well done so you are getting a repainted figure but it still looks good and again you can add more to uh, a herd you do get the juvenile stegosaurus which looks absolutely adorable and of course uh, another character from uh, the lost world uh, so hopefully we get more i mean there's other ones that you could do for sure now oh wait a minute here's 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 malcolm oh i, I know i had one here there we go here he is there we go there we go sarah harding perfect there you go now you get a better uh comparison i guess but uh, as part of the legacy collection this jurassic world set or jurassic park set however you want to look at it is exclusively available right now at target stores so you can go to the website or just go into a Target and pick it up. It does seem like it's a very common piece. Uh, every time I go into a Target now, I definitely see the set. So it is out there. And if it's one that you would like to add to your collection, good luck and happy hunting. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. As always, I want to thank you all for tuning in and watching. And please remember that the real trouble with the world is that too many people grow up. Thank you all for watching and taking the time to be a kid.